Hey guys. How are we? Hey Paolo, hey Jinan, hey Alice. Alice, where are you? It looks exotic. Your garden. <laughs> hey Malin, hey Aini. Hey Alicia. Hey Marcia. So I had one request today and that was to do a knee friendly practice. So there'll be no knees down unless you want to. So I'll give options, I'll give variations as always. But we're gonna start on our back. Soles of the feet together, let your knees go wide. Welcome everybody, happy Wednesday. And take this time. So I'm going to ask you to place one hand on your heart. So, hey Maddie, we're on our back, soles of the feet together, knees wide. Place one hand on your heart, one hand on your tummy. And do it in such a way that your elbows are on the floor. So it doesn't really matter if your hand isn't in the center of your chest. And it doesn't really matter if your other hand isn't in the center of your tummy. It's more just that they're resting in that general vicinity. And the reason is connection but more specifically it's connection with breath so there's a term called interoception and it's being in touch or an awareness of shifts in our physiology so in our state of being and our breath is one of the ways that we can direct, so we can kind of take charge of how we are. So rather than thinking about your breath, I want you to feel into your breath and observing the movement that comes with it. So your hands can help you with that. How much is your belly moving? How much is your chest moving? where in your body, or not where, but rather which part of your chest is moving. The length of the breath. Maybe the length of the inhale versus the exhale. If there's a pause between the exhale and the inhale, and between the inhale and the exhale. Many types of breathwork techniques are quite dogmatic, but actually are quite regimented. However, this is also a breathwork technique to help calm us. Simply being with your breath. Not trying to dictate it, but just to notice it. And letting it be, let's say it, a diagnostic tool to help us tune into how we are. And then once we get that information, once we get that feedback, then we can almost ma manipulate the breath. So direct the breath to create shifts, to create changes. Breathing smoothly, breathing consistently, finding a gentle pause at the end of your inhale, at the end of your exhale, elongating the exhale. Slowing down the breath. So observe any shifts, observe how you are now. And for our time together, as we introduce movement, 
focus on a smooth breath, consistent breath. So as we introduce movement, which is a gentle stress on the body, our breath helps keep us calm. And when you're ready, draw your knees together, hug your knees into your chest, give yourself a big squeeze, keep the breath. Sway from side to side. And gently rock up and down the spine, gather momentum. We're gonna meet in a downward facing dog. Maddie, balancing okay? Just cool. Take a deep breath in, long breath, consistent breath. Gently, long exhale through the nose. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhale, tiptoes. Tiptoe feet to hands, place your feet down behind your wrists. Grab opposite elbows. Let everything hang heavy. Notice how it feels to bend your right knee. Then straighten the right leg, bend the left knee. Good. And straighten the left leg. And let yourself hang, head is heavy. And slowly hands fold to the floor. Let's roll up through the spine, stacking bone on bone. When you rise all the way up, hands to prayer, heart center. Take a long breath in, set your intention for your practice. Choose the breath. Choose tuning in to how you are, how you're feeling, and let that be the direct director of your practice. And slowly let's bring our hands down by our side. Gently open the eyes, breathing in, breathing out. Inhale, arms up, gaze to thumb. Exhale, forward fold, hands to the floor. Flat back, breathe in. Step back to plank, exhale. Rocking forward, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Upward facing dog, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Amazing, we're here for one. Exhale. The breath is what counts, two. Three. Inhale. Exhale, bend your knees and we step hop or jump to the top. Flat back, breathe in, find the horizon. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep hands up, gaze up. Exhale, hands into your heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Flat back, breathe in, gaze forward. Exhale, step up, we jump back, Chaturanga. Upward facing, breathe in. Downward facing dog. Inhale for once, you've got time for every breath. Exhale. Two. Feel your body warm up. Exhale. Three. Slowly let your body open up. 
Exhale. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees, step, hop, or jump to the top. Flat back, breathe in. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Last one, inhale, reaching up. Fold, use the full length of the breath. Half lift, inhale. Step up or jump back, landing bent elbows. Inhale, upward facing, downward facing dog. Turbo dog is always there if you want it. Inhale for one. Activate the legs. Pulling up through the kneecaps. Firming through the outer hips. Breathing in. And breathing out. Inhale, we prepare. Exhale, bend knees, step up or jump to the top. Flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale into chair pose. Exhale, forward fold, hands to the ground. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step, hop, or jump back through your vinyasa. Upward facing, breathe in. Downward facing, dog, exhale. Right leg lifts. Bend the knee. Squeeze the heel to bum, breathe in. Breathe out. Keeping your downward dog shape, inhale here. Exhale, thigh to tummy. Don't come forward into plank. Keep pushing the chest back. Inhale, send the leg back up. Downward dog shape, bent knee, three-legged dog. Keep the downward dog shape. Exhale, thigh to tummy. And I want you to squeeze at the hip flexor. Good. Inhale, send it up. So don't come forward. You stay back. Downward dog shape, upside down V. Exhale, thigh to tummy. Holding it here, breathe in. Exhale, foot between the hands. Keep your hands down to the ground. Inhale, straighten the right leg. Exhale, bend your right knee. Try and have as little weight as you can in your fingertips. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Good, let's do one more. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Upward facing, breathe in. Downward facing dog. Good. Left leg lifts. Bend the knee, keep the hip as square as you can, so don't open the hip here. Inhale, send the knee higher. Downward dog shape, don't come forward. Exhale, thigh to tummy. Squeeze. Palo, keep your chest back. Inhale, send the knee up. Exhale, thigh to tummy. Don't come forward, keep pushing the chest back. That's it, but don't come to plank. Inhale, send it up. Exhale, thigh to tummy. Squeeze as hard as you can, in breath. Foot between the hands. Inhale, straighten left leg. Exhale, bend the knee. Inhale, straighten. So we're firing up our legs here, getting into hamstring as well. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, step back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga, use fingertips. Breathing in, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths, inhale one, exhale, two, exhale, three, exhale. 
Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees, step up or jump to the top. Flat back, find the horizon. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, sit deep, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, gaze forward. Step hop or jump back, chaturanga. Upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Same, same. Right leg lifts. Bend the knee. Inhale here. Exhale, thigh to tummy. Inhale, send the knee up. Exhale, thigh to tummy. One more. Inhale, send it up. Try and press the left heel down. Exhale, thigh to tummy. Breathe in here. Exhale, come forward, foot between the hands. Option for fingertips down or airplane the arms. Inhale, we straighten. So it's like an arrow lunge. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. One more. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Hands down. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Breathe in. Breathing out. Left leg lift. Bend the knee. Inhale. Exhale, thigh to tummy. Inhale, send it up. Exhale, thigh to tummy. And again, inhale. Exhale, squeeze in. Hold here for the inhale. Exhale, foot forward between the hands. Inhale, airplane the arms, straighten the left leg. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. And again, inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Good. Hands down. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Breathing in, upward facing. Downward facing dog. Inhale one. Exhale. Two. Three. Amazing. Now inhale, we prepare. Exhale, bend the knees and between the breath, we float to the top. Flat back, inhale. Exhale, fold, nice man. Chair pose, breathe in. Exhale, hands to the floor, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step up or jump back, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Same, same. Right leg lifts. Exhale, bend the knee. So we need to squeeze with all of your might. Inhale here. Exhale, thigh to tummy. Suck your tummy in. Inhale, send it up. Left heel down. Exhale, pull it in. Try and keep a flat back. Inhale, send it up. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale here. Exhale, foot between the hands. Airplane again. Inhale, straighten right leg. Exhale, bend. Press your edge. Inhale, straighten. Squeeze your inner thighs, firing up all sides of the leg. Bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Now hands come to the floor, inhale, standing splits. Exhale, bend your right knee, tap your right heel with your left knee. So bend both knees. Good. Inhale, send the leg up. Exhale, bend, tap. Inhale, send it up. 
Exhale, tap. Or almost tap. Inhale, send it high. Exhale, chaturanga. Upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg lifts. Exhale, bend the knee. Inhale here. Exhale, thigh to tummy. Inhale, send it up. Exhale, thigh to tummy. Suck the tummy in, flat back. Heel to bum. Inhale, send it up. Exhale, heel to bum, thigh to tummy. Inhale here. Foot between the hands. Arrow lunge, airplane the arms. Inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Hands down for standing split. Exhale, bend left knee, tap right knee, tap the ankle, or your elbow. Inhale, send it up. Exhale, bend, tap. Inhale, send it up. Exhale, tap. Inhale, standing split. Exhale, through chaturanga. Breathe in, upward facing. Downward facing dog. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Good, one more breath. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, bend knee, step up or dump it to the top. Good, flat back, breathe in. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, chair pose. Hold here for three. Two, one. Good, inhale, stand up. Exhale, hands to prayer. Close your eyes. Transfer the weight into the right foot. Hike the left hip. So you're hovering your left foot about an inch off the floor. Now do this with your eyes closed. For three. Two. One, good. Slowly place the left foot down. Transfer the weight into the left foot. Hike the right hip. Cover the right foot off the floor by an inch. Do it with your eyes closed. And observe the activation through the left foot. Trust it, it knows what it needs to do. Two more. Good. And then slowly bring the right foot back down. Breathing in. Breathing out. On your inhale, pull left knee to chest, holding around the shin. So I want you to send that left knee as high as it will go. Drive down through the right heel. Suck the left knee in. Now close your eyes here. Try and find balance for three, two, one. Good. Gently open your eyes. Pull the left knee wide to the side. Right hand can come to weight. And again, open the chest. Now, if you want to, if you feel comfortable, squeeze your bum, squeeze everything. Close your eyes. Three, two, one. Good. Pull the left knee back into center. Hands come to prayer. Inhaling here. Exhale, kick the left heel back. Take it into your warrior three. And this is why I give you, I sent you guys that gift today. It's foreshadowing, breathing in. You guys are doing way better than Colin Firth. Breathing out. One more breath. Good. Bend your right knee, breathe in. 
slowly place the left foot back coming into your lunge stay in the arrow lunge good airplane the arms lift the chest think up dog through the chest inhale straighten right leg exhale bend the knee good inhale straighten exhale bend one more inhale straighten exhale bend take it into crescent lunge arms up open out warrior two holding it here settle into the pose and i want you to tune into your right glutes your right outer hip area to pull that right knee wide external rotation through the right thigh and feel that hip opening using your strength back foot turned in slightly back foot back leg straight from here reach forward right elbow to inner thigh right left arm overhead side body stretch right hip opener so i want you to find that that's it jin lin trust yeah extended side angle breathing in breathing out one more breath good rising up warrior two exhale now inhale straighten the right leg reach forward triangle pose exhale breathing in breathing out maddie micro bend your knee there you go unless it's painful one more breath. Good. Now from here, I'm going to give you options. Rise up, arms to T. Arms to T. Yep, rise up. Exhale, bend your right knee back into warrior two. Reach forward again and find a bind. So bring your right arm underneath the right leg. You don't have to do that. If you don't want to do the bind, just keep your hand inside of the right leg. So from here, we're going to straighten the right leg. Doesn't have to fully straight, just straighten to the best you can. Exhale, bend your right knee. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Good. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Two options. Option one here, stay. Try and open the chest, keep the bind. Option two, lean forward, look forward, try and balance that left leg off the ground, keeping the bind or not, take it into your half moon. So you can bind or not. So we're gonna come back into our bound extended side angle for three. Good, two, one, amazing. Slowly bend your right knee, step back. Good. And then we're going to release the bind, rise back up into warrior two. Exhale. Good. Windmill the hands down, framing the right leg. Let's take it back through your vinyasa. Amazing. And now let's punctuate the round with some shoulder work. So let's bring our elbows down to the ground. Walk your feet in. Option. Option one to do this both feet on the ground. Option two to do the with one foot. If you're doing it with one foot, lift your left leg, not your right leg. So we're gonna lean forward, chin to thumbs, dolphin drills, exhale, chest to thighs. So one legged or both legged. If it's one legged, it's the right leg that's down, left leg is up. Good. And then if anybody wants to take it upside down from here, we're kicking off the right leg. And the reason is is we've worked on compression on the right side we worked more on activation on the right side so we want to hop off the right pull the thigh in towards the tummy good alice bend that right knee as quickly as you can as soon as the foot leaves the floor bend it yeah That's it, Alicia. Be a little bit closer to whatever that is next time. 
<laughs> Ideally, it wouldn't move though. <laughs> there you go. When you're ready, guys, take it down. Maddie, you good? Breathing in. Breathing out. Malin, you with us? You okay? Inhale, gaze forward. Option for tuck jumps as always. We bend our knees. We're going to step up or float to the top of the mat. Flat back, breathe in. Exhale, fold it down. Chair pose, bend your knees. Holding here, sit deeper, ribs in. Three, two, one inhale let's rise up stand up exhale hands to prayer and we do all of that on the other side so we pull our right knee to chest spend a moment or two here to feel if we can get that right knee higher straighten left leg pull the thigh into the tummy good once we stabilize close our eyes three Two, one, good. Right leg to the side. Left hand can come to waist. Three, two, eyes closed. One, let's bring the leg back into center. Squeeze it in. Hands to prayer, inhale here. Exhale, kick back into your warrior three. Breathing in. Breathing out. Amazing. Three breaths. Two, super solid this side. One more. Now with control, inhale, bend your left knee. Exhale, step back. We're doing three pulses again here. Inhale, straight and left leg. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. So your whole body moves together. And then exhale, bend. So it's not the chest or the shoulders coming up and down, it's the knee bending. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Good. Rise into crescent lunge, arms up. Apollo, we're in crescent lunge, good. Exhale, open out, warrior two. And again, this side, focus on that hip opening. So using your bum, so tune into your bum. Bring your mind's eye there. Pull the left knee wide, gentle external rotation through the left thigh. Nice knee. Breathing in, power through the back leg. Breathing out. Inhale, we reach forward. The elbow comes to the inner thigh to open the hip. Open the torso, top arm reaches over. Good, and again, we wanna open our hip here. So the more you can press the left arm into the left inner thigh and push that knee wide, the more that's gonna happen. Try and lean back, Alicia. I'd say go longer with your legs as well, right leg back. Give yourself more space to open up. Good, one more breath. Inhale, let's rise up, arms to T. Exhale. Now we straighten the left leg, Trikonasana. Breathe in. Breathing out. Left hip pulls back, roll left sit bone under. So it's like you're dragging left sit bone back to right heel. Elongate the spine, breathe in. Twist. Breathing in. Breathing out. Good. That's it, Jin Lin. You're exactly where you're meant to be. So still in our trikonasana. Then inhale, let's rise up, arms to T. Exhale, bend your left knee. Then we reach forward. Bring your left arm underneath your left leg. Find the bind. Good. Inhale, straighten left leg. 
Exhale, bend the knee. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Good, one more. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Now again, stay. Option one, option two. Lean forward, try and keep the bind, see what ha happens, try and lift right leg up. So you have to find that opposition, that resistance. Press left leg into your left shoulder, left shoulder into left leg, and then fire up your right outer hip, your glutes on the right side. If you lose the bind, who cares? Don't worry, you can find it again. And then slowly we bend that left knee, we step the right leg back. Rising back up, warrior two. Exhale. Beautiful. Windmill the hands down, framing the leg. Step it back through your vinyasa. Breathing in, upward facing. Breathing out, downward facing dog. Take three breaths here. And then when you're ready, elbows come down again. Try and do both elbows at the same time. Feet walk in. So it was left leg down, right leg up. And we rock forward and back. Make sure we balance out. Good. Take it upside down. When you're ready, come back into your downward facing dog. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Good. From here, we're going to take it into a yogi squat. So gaze forward, bend your knees, float to the top. Good. Pull your knees wide using your outer hips. Make sure your knee and toes are pointing in the same direction, keeping everything in alignment that feels right. Try and separate your knees from your arms, three, two one good hands down hips up so i want you to make little crab claws with your hands and bring them to the back well so you go inside the leg and grab the back of the ankle so with both hands so feet wider if you need to and we try and shimmy our chest in between our legs if anybody has it or wants to try once you get your shoulders through as much as you can, reach your hands behind your back and try and grab hold. This is like a standing Tadibhasana. Yeah, that's it. So Alice, straighten your legs, grab hold of your ankles like this, and then try and straighten. Yeah. Send your chest through, look between your legs. Three, two, well done everyone. One, slowly release. Take a moment. We're going to stay here. Walk your right hand behind the right shoulder behind the right leg. Now reach your right hand behind your back. Grab hold of left wrist. Pausing here for a second, look over your left shoulder. Try and straighten left leg and straighten right leg at the same time. Good. Now, option one is stay here. And this is a nice, juicy outer hamstring stretch, IT band stretch for most of us. If you want to take this into a bird of paradise, go for it. 
You can do a bent knee bird or a straight leg bird. And what I mean by that is the bottom leg, the left leg will stay straight, but it's the right knee that might bend or straighten. Good. That's it. Push your right shoulder into your right leg, right leg into right shoulder. That's it. Nice. Three. Come back to that balance. Can you close your eyes here? Only do it if you feel stable. Good. Let's bend our knee and come straight back down. Well done. And then we are going to switch. So shake it out in between. Then send the left. <laughs> Do a little jig, do a little dance, and then left arm goes behind the back. Well, both hands, left arm goes in between the leg and behind the back, right arm goes behind the back. Straighten both legs as you look over your right shoulder. This is great prep, but also is just a nice hamstring stretch. Then when you're ready, find your bird. Good, when you rise, once you find the stability, squeezing your thighs, opposition between shoulder and inner thigh, maybe try and close your eyes. Good, now when you're ready, bend your knee. And then slowly come down, good. Now, while we're here, let's play with Titi Basana. We've done all the prep work. Bring, so bend your knees, keep your feet wide, bend your knees, grab hold of the back of the ankles or like the calf muscle area, pull your body through as much as you can. Once you get here, start to squeeze your inner thighs together. So you're squeezing your torso, your shoulder area with your legs. Hands come to the floor right behind your heels, bend your elbows and you sit down on your arms. Your arms are creating like a chatter chaturanga shape, so they create a shelf. Don't let go of the inner thigh activation. The more you squeeze your body with your inner thighs, the better or the easier this is going to be. So once you squeeze, 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 start to drop the bum, look up, maybe lift the toes up and then slowly squeeze in, start to straighten the legs. Keep the arms, the arms will straighten as well, not entirely. And bum down, chest up, point the toes, feet up. It can feel like a lot in your wrists. You just take it as it comes. And remember, squeeze the inner thighs. Yes, Mala, nice. Try and straighten your legs more, hips low. Good. Now, to get from here, back through your vinyasa, you can either come back through yogi squat, hands down, or you can take it into crow pose. So to take it into crow pose, lean to one side, swing the right leg back, and then lean to the right, and then swing the left leg back. And we meet in our downward facing dog. Try it, Marcia. So think, yeah. Then the other side, squeeze heels to bum, float back. It can be hard to float back from there, even if you make it into crow. It's really normal. Good, well done everyone. Take a deep breath in. Breathing out. Good. One more breath. Now let's play with another entry into Tidibhasana. Inhale, take the forward into, so gaze forward, bend your knees. We're gonna come back into yogi squats. Bring your bum down to the ground. And then from here, start to send your feet. I like to go in a diagonal. Well, I think start in a diagonal and see what happens. So bring your shoulders underneath your legs as much as you can. Send your hands out to the side and then slowly shimmy your feet forward and take it into a forward fold. And you might end up somewhere like this and that's cool. Make sure you don't put too much pressure in your elbow. Do what feels okay. If you can pancake, pancake. If you can't, no problem at all. Just take it to a variation that works for you. It's quite a deep, deep forward fold. Let's hold it here for five. If you want to do an Upavishta Kanasana or a Paschimottanasana instead, 
you can do that too. Nice. Three. Two. One. Good. So let's all come. If you're in Kermasana, so the turtle, or turtle, from here, you want to keep your arms over, or sorry, your legs over your arms as much as you can. So walk your hands in, so their fingertips are pointing forward. Lean back and keep your legs on your upper arms. And then walk your hands back towards your bum. There's a bit of a momentum needed, so you can lean forward to pick up the bum and then lift up the legs. If you've come from an Utavishta Kanasana, lean back, bend your knees, place one leg over the upper arm. It doesn't have to be over the shoulder. It just needs to be above the elbow. Squeeze the back of that arm, and then you have to try and do it one-handed with the other side. And it's the same thing, hands down, lean forward, bum up, legs up, and then lean to the left to swing the right leg back, lean to the right to swing the left leg back, take it into crow pose, and then vinyasa. You have time. Jinlin, squeeze it in. If the knees go wide, guys, it's game over. You need to squeeze in. So get the knees on the arms, pull in. So you're trying to squeeze your side body. Hands down. Well done. And we meet in down, we're facing dog. Well done, everyone. <laughs> this is like not today. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Breathing in. Breathing out. Good. So I'm going to give you five breaths, inspired by Maddie, who was just going upside down. Do with this five breaths what you will. So if you want to play with pincha, go for pincha. If you want to play with handstand, go for handstand. If you want to play with headstand. If you want to do an arm balance, if you want to keep playing with Chitty Basana, go for it. If you want to try a one-legged crow, maybe go for that. If you want to stay in your downward dog, that's perfect too. Nice, Marcia. Marcia, try and come into double stag leg, so knee to chest. We bend both knees in opposite directions. Yeah, now push into that bottom arm. A oh, one leg goes back, one leg goes over. So you're bending both. Okay, you're doing, yeah, yeah, exactly. Now look forward. So find a bit of a back bend. Try and touch the back of your head. Cool, that's one way to lift the head. There's another way as well. Well done. And let's take it back into our downward facing dog. Breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale, gaze forward. Let's flow through and lay down on our backs. So we've done a lot of forward folds, a lot of quad action. So lay down on your back, bend your knees. We wanna find the opposite action. So come into some back bends. So let's start with bridge. Pull your heels in towards your bum, lift your hips. Good, for three. Two. One, slowly come down. If you wanna do another, Go for it. Otherwise, if you want to come up into a full wheel, reach your arms back overhead, hands down. And take it slow. We haven't done many, very many back bends. So slowly start to wake, open up the shoulders, open up the chest. See what it feels like to close your eyes in your back bend. And then take it down. The 
and then let's go up again. Maybe closing your eyes. Good. And then slowly take it down. Let's take it knees into chest. Do whatever you feel you need to do just to kind of shake out the back bend. Then we're going to take it into shoulder stand. So send your legs up, support your back, draw your elbows in close together. If you want to play with candlestick, you release the hands away from the back and you reach up towards the feet. When you do it, if you feel good, so shoot your tiptoes to the ceiling and then reach right hand for right foot, left hand for left foot. Slow down the breath here. And can you come back to the same intensity of focus on the breath as you had at the start? And observe the correlation between your breath and the activity. So how is the breath now versus how was the breath when we're laying down? Can you Direct the breath, slowing it down. And can you observe the shifts that follow? Take it into plow pose. Maybe air pressure pose if you want to go there. And then slowly make your way down onto your back. If you want to do fish pose to counter, you can do fish pose. If you want to do a twist, if you want to do happy baby, tune in. What is your body intuitively telling you that you need? And when you're ready, let's take it into Shavasana. Take a long and slow breath in and take a consistent long and slow breath out. Let yourself be.
Come back to your breath. Come back to your body. Stretching it. While you're moving to your chest, give yourself a hug and slowly start to make your way up to a comfortable seat. Hands to prayer. Let's take a long and deep breath and smooth breath in. And equally as long and equally as smooth breath out. Raising our thumbs to our third eye. Let's bow our heads together. Jai Namaste. Thank you so much, everybody. Good to see you guys. Have a wonderful rest of your Wednesday. Here for questions as always. Bye, guys. Thanks, Sarah. Good to see you, love. See you soon. See you.